up, legends? I got another Naruto Shippuden episode post reaction and review for you guys for episode 386. And it's gonna be legendary, baby. But this was, I don't remember the title. Oh, yeah. It was called Sasuke Shinden episode 3. Funshin. Funshin. Whatever. Fushin. Whatever that man's name. Whatever that man's name is. But we started where we left off in the last episode with my boy Sasuke. With my boy Sasuke looking at an exploding human about to bust a whole cat. <laughs> and quickly, which is, it's new information that Sasuke can stop the exploding humans while they're mid explosion. Because I thought, like, once they swole up, that he couldn't stop them. But he can indeed stop them while they're, like, swollen up and everything. So that's a pretty, that's pretty good information. So in case Naruto's about to bust all kinds of nuts, Sasuke just be like, psych. But yeah, I doubt Naruto would be exploding. So we find out that the exploding humans, they're actually, they're actually after Sasuke. The Uchi. <laughs> Cause we go to in Oshiaro, whatever that man's name is. I, I'm not gonna pronounce it right. I know. I'm sorry, but in Oshiro, we go to him, and we find out that this new that this clan that actually la that was actually around before Madara and Hashirama fought for power, or they had their final bout at the final final bout at the final valley, is the Shinosuke clan. Shinosuke clan. Or whatever that clan's name is, and they possess they possess some visual genjutsu which I don't remember the name of. Some Tetsuyuran or whatever, I don't know. But yeah, they possess some visual keke ginkai. And they and in Oshiro he explains the history behind them. Blah like they say there that this feudal lord had a concubine, and then the guy got ill and shit, and everyone's blaming her. But people of the village like they 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 agree with her they were like no she ain't do shit she is she just some thought she ain't do shit come on cuz and then yeah I mean that's basically the history behind them and we find out that the, they tried to hire the Uchi <laughs> clan but the Uchi <laughs> clan denied them so Orochimaru's all like I guess even though the Uchiha clan were exiled and everything they were quick to judge others they, they were judged themselves. They were quick to judge others and shit. So Sasuke's all like, did Ichachi know about this? And Orochimaru's like, I wonder. I'm, and I'm just like, no, I doubt he knew about it. Because it said it was like way back. Well, actually, Itachi's a smart motherfucker. But what could he have done about the past, honestly? He can't. I mean, he's OP, but he can't travel in time. Come on. Even Sasuke can't travel in time. But yeah. So we move. We keep moving on. We see. First off, we saw a guy throw like a kunai at Sasuke and Sasuke's about to chase him but Chino is about to get butt fucked by an exploding human so Sasuke saves her real quick holds on to her for a second she's all like I didn't expect you to save me Sasuke dear and he's like dumb bitch of course I was gonna save you I have a little bit of sentimental attachment to you look like my child I'm gonna name my child Chino Chino no I'm not I'm gonna name her salad Wait, he, I'm, <laughs> anyway, I, I got on a little Sasuke rant there. I don't know. But yeah, we see. So during the exploding humans, because there was a bunch of exploding humans in the arena. So first, Sasuke uses his shotgun gun to stop one, saves his life. Then there's actually three others. Um, Yamato brings up the fact that Sasuke can't move that fast. He can't save up. He can't save all of the exploding humans. So what he does is he says all right we can stop the damage at least so um yamato brings wood out <laughs> brings his wood style out covers up one of the humans stops the explosion from doing too much damage and then the roshimaru's like whatever takes his snakes out covers up the human stops him from doing so much damage and yeah they basically stop all the catastrophic shit and sasuke saves one but the others they're just like fucked whatever so after they meet in, after they're done meeting with in Oshira, that man, he, they they talk about Fushin. Like I said, he gives them the history of the Shinosuke clan with the bloodshot eyes, which was some scary fucking imagery. Those eyes looked terrifying, and I did not screenshot that because I I'm scared, quite frankly. But yeah, so Sasuke goes to Hell Valley, which is where the Shinosuke clan was exiled to. 
and he brings Chino and Nawaki. That's the fat man's name. There we go. Nawaki. They they go there. Nawaki, Nawaki, whatever. It reminds me of Kawaki from the Boruto manga, but ah, that's none of my business. But yeah. Wait, what if Nawaki and Kawaki are related? That would be cool. Hmm, whatever. But. So they go to Hell Valley. Sasuke's all like, you know, we separate here. But they're like, nah, we, nah, fam, we got you back, homie. And so they follow Sasuke. Sasuke! <laughs> and Sasuke's just walking ahead of them, like, whatever. Because as we know, the exploding humans are after Sasuke. The people who are making those humans are after Sasuke for his shutting gun. Probably revenge on the Uchiha clan by trying to kill off the last survivor of the Uchiha clan. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. That's my that's my prediction, but because I've never read the novels, so I never read any of the novels, so I'm glad to begin new shit for me. So yeah, we see some exploding humans, and while well, they walk right by Sasuke, I don't know how Sasuke doesn't notice that their eyes are glowing red when they're walking by him with that shouting gun. I don't understand how he can see everything but that, but this is none of my business. So Sasuke goes, he's all he's. He's being Sasuke. He stops the exploding humans all at once. Chino and Nawaki get away because Nawaki's about to run in to help Sasuke. Chino, no, no, Chino was about to run in to help Sasuke. Nawaki grabbed her, ran from them because I'd be like, get away. Then we see another kunai go by Sasuke's face. He looks, sees the guy, chases him down. Sasuke just dodging the little kunai. And mid, the, in the midst of dodging, he notices one doesn't have a um, chakra around it. So he's like, what the fuck is this? So he's noticing that the guy, this guy's kunai do, do not have chakra around it, so something's a little strange. So he catches one of the kunai mid-toss, throws it back at the guy, stops him from running, land, the guy lands in a hot spring, and him and Sasuke begin confrontation. So Sasuke threatens to use the shotgun gun to see his memories, or to take, just to kill the dude, basically, because Sasuke is a boss, he's a savage. And um, Sasuke's all like, okay. So I'm. You don't have to talk. But this is the guy. He quickly gets up, and they start fighting. Guy uses rubber style and a mud wall, and then rubber style to cover it. So I see the lightning sword doesn't work, which it worked against Deidara, but I don't think that's rubber. That's clay, so that's not my business. I keep saying that to you, you know, I know. But um, so Sasuke is trying to combat the rubber style, and the guy just thinks he thinks he's hot shit. He throws two rubber balls against the walls. Sasuke starts playing dodgeball bars. And Sasuke just dodging him, dodging him, like whatever. And then he uses Amaterasu. Amaterasu. He activates the Monkey Kill Shotting Gun. The Eternal Monkey Kill Shotting Gun. He uses Amaterasu. The guy is just like, what the hell is this? His leg catches on fire. And he's like, what the hell? Oh shit. Oh shit, it's so hot. I'll talk, I'll talk. So I think landing in the hot spring was actually like a, a uh, foreshadowing of that Amaterasu, honestly. So he's like, I'll talk, I'll talk, whatever. Just let me talk. So Sasuke puts out the Amaterasu flames, and he's like, you, he stares in his face. Sasuke is such a badass with this. He just stares in his face, activates the shutting gun. You don't have to talk. Looks into his memories, and we see during the segment, the during the um, tournament, the little Coliseum tournament thingy, where Sasuke was fighting, we see a big figure throw the kunai and then step out of the way so it can look as if this guy is throwing the kunai because that guy was hired or well told to do it because the guy who took Fudenshin is actually his boss so at the end of the flashback we see the big figure's face and we see it's Kawaki I was gonna say Nawaki wait no it is Nawaki Nawaki there we go I was thinking about the Boruto manga it's Nawaki so Nawaki appears behind Sasuke he's like <laughs> that's right and we see, and Sasuke's all like, hmm, I figured as much. I, I, which I'm like, whatever, Sasuke, Sasuke's a smart man. Because, I mean, I guess since he seen, since he saw that the, the, the things had, the little knives had chakra around him, he remembered not, Kawa, Nawaki's, <laughs> he remembered Nawaki's ability that he used in the uh, village with the old man. And, yeah, so he's like, show me your true form, and Nawaki's like, true form. And he's like, you you wouldn't have shown yourself around the old man if you were really if you really looked that like a fat bitch like that. So Nawaki proceeds to slit his wrists or his arms, and he shrinks down in size. 
and he becomes who he really is. He looks like the way he usually does. And so that's basically the end of the episode between their confrontation. He's like Funshin. So Nawaki turns out to be Funshin, and that's the end of the episode. Next episode's looking very fucking delicious. And I, I can't wait. But this has been DZ Legend with another legendary commentary. Please like, favorite, comment, subscribe. If you're nasty, I give this episode a freaking 10 because I'm a fucking fanboy. Peace, Legends. Finish.